So here we are out here in the shop. Got the carburetor pulled back off the car and I actually now have the correct carburetor kit. And in case you're wondering, there is the part number. And this is a Rochester 4GC full barrel carburetor. That's what come original on the car and that's what I'd like to keep original on the car. So, of course, the last time we didn't have the right kit, we still pulled it apart, cleaned everything up, and it did run, but it wasn't idle, and it was running kind of rough. So, today I got the carburetor kit. I'm going to get that installed, get it put back on the car, and I will bring y'all back. All right, so here we are. Got the carburetor rebuilt. Got everything hooked back up, plugged up. So, we're going to see she'll crank. See how she runs. Temporary fuel off hooked up here. <clears throat> Alright, so got a good hot battery, bought a brand new battery, two new uh battery terminal ends, and rebuilt the carburetor. So let's see what happens. So she's not turned over. She's getting power. The starter's just not engaging. And when I first got the car to get the turn over, I had to play with the shifter inside. Because I think the safety switch is engaging and not or not disengaging, allowing it to crank. So let me play with that and I'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. Found out the neutral safety switch just went out on this thing. So I couldn't get it turned over, but she turns over now. So let's see if we can get her started.
All right, so window she runs and she'll idle. That's a very good thing. So now it's time for me to dig the radiator out of the back seat of this car. There's all kinds of junk in there. So let me go get all that dug out, see if I can get that radiator out, make sure it's still good. And see if we can't get that put in and something way to keep it cool. I think it's gotten a little warm right now, so I wanna let it cool down. But I'll get back with y'all once I get a bunch of junk removed. All right, so we got the radiator dug out the back seat it's been in there since 1991 I guess and you can see somebody put something on top of it kind of dented it in a little bit right there it's not too bad and a little bit of moisture got to it down there but I've already tested it it's not leaking I flushed it out everything's good to go uh, started raining a few minutes ago so I left and Made a run, got a top radiator hose, a lower radiator hose, a cap, got a uh, the fan belt to go on it, some transmission fluid, a few other things that I needed, hose clamps and a little stuff like that. So, I'm fixing to get out here and clean up the water neck on it, uh, put a thermostat in, I got a new thermostat and a gasket, and get all that straightened out, and clean up those old rusty pulleys, and get the belt on, and then get the radiator installed. And I will bring y'all back once I get all that done. So, see you in a bit. All right, so it's the next day, it's Sunday. Uh, gonna get out here for a couple hours this morning see if I can't get this radiator put in. But first, I'm fixing to bring a water hose over here. I'm gonna crank the engine up and stick the water hose over <clears throat> on top of the intake there and try to flush the engine out itself just to see what what all junk is in there because if there's any junk in there i do not want it getting in that new radiator and clogging it up so we're going to try to flush that out and then we're going to see if we can't get this radiator put in today uh yesterday i just i ran out of time so like i said i've only got till about 11 o'clock today and it is 8 30 now so we'll see what we can get done i'll bring y'all back all right so we're back and i now have the radiator in transmission lines in it uh, I just have it full of water right now. I'm just trying to check see if I have any leaks or anything while it's running. Uh, make sure you know everything cycles through like it's supposed to and all that good stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. Uh, check the temperature. I don't have a temperature gauge on it, but I do have a infrared thermometer that I can check the heads with and check the radiator and all with just to make sure it's not overheating. Uh, and once we do that and let it run for a little bit, we'll drain all this out and put some antifreeze in it so let's get in there and crank it up make sure she's got some fuel Ah! <laughs> 
She ran out of gas. That's a thirsty girl. Train it works an old girl. 
As you see, there's another shot interior. She's rough. But she runs. Oh. Generator works too. See, so generator go out, light go out when I give it a little fuel. So she works. I just got to get everything else unfroze on it. Two front tires unfroze, the other rear tire unfroze, and we'll have a roller. Get some brakes on it. But anyways, I'm done for the weekend. I got other stuff I need to go take care of. So I guess I'll end this video here. And it'll be a couple of weeks before I can get back out here and work on it and do some more to it. But I will bring y'all along for the ride. Later.